<laughs> uh, the classic relegation uh, six-pointer between Charlton and West Ham yesterday was watched by many of their fans peeping through their fingers, if not with their hands firmly over their eyes. Not something that Kevin Day's companion there yesterday was able to do. Do you have to like football to be a good football photographer? Yeah, you live and breathe it because you do it as a job. And, you, know, you need to know what's going on. Uh, News-wise, you need to know what you're shooting. You need to know what the story is of the game. Um, and you also, you need to know what makes pictures, what makes good football pictures. Uh, Alex, talk me through this wonderful photograph that is the Barclays shot of the season. Um, well, it was Newcastle Middlesbrough last season. Um, it finished 2 all. This is Yakubu scoring the uh, first goal for Middlesbrough to make it one all. Given is looking at the ball, you know, dejected, hitting the back of the net. And Yakubu is wheeling away to celebrate. It just shows what football is all about. There's a saying in the business that you're only as good as your last picture. Well, you're only as good as your last picture. It's a fantastic one, and this is why you've been awarded the Barclays shot of the season. Thank you very and much. I'm very happy to give it to you now. You fully deserved because it's a fantastic photograph. Thank you very much. So we're off to chart on West Ham today. It's a very big game. Big story of the day is obviously the managers. That, that's going to be the main focal point. So what you really need is red cards, punch ups. Definitely don't want a nil nil dull boring draw, that's, that's for sure. Yeah, I've got a feeling that's what we're going to get though. So you're in position early, why this particular spot? Um, right, tactics behind this is, <laughs> uh, the start is the, t the tunnel's just here, yeah. so the managers are obviously going to come out from this, this side, this end, and I'm hoping that maybe at the end of the game they may walk back to the tunnel together. Do you get nervous? Not so much a premiership, oh. kind of, because we do it week in, week out, yeah. but yeah, I, do, I get nervous for big games, European Cups, uh, World Cup finals, definitely ner very nervous then. Thomas and Charlton again quick on the break he has Darren Benton support head down he's gone for the score Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank strong in the challenge and Darren Benton on side this could be 3-0 before half time it is the home side can now break Ambrose to run at Koncheski in towards Thomas! Oh, that is a beautiful goal! Is there a way back for West Ham from this? Do you get a, a, a sense for how the game is unfolding while you're looking through a lens? Can you get a sense of the whole picture of the game? I got an idea that was at the wrong end in the first <laughs> half. <laughs> we felt for you until that fourth goal went in, because we were right at the other end, so we were yeah. wishing the ball down this end. But it's the way it goes. Yeah. It's the way it goes, you know, you, you think you make all these plans and all these decisions before the uh, kick-off. Yeah. You never expect it to be 3 0 at half time. And who's that chap over there who's looking That's for your Mark, photos? he's our picture editor. Right. Um, he's busy sending the pictures while I'm shooting during the game, so okay. I can concentrate on taking the pictures and he gets them out to the newspapers. Is basically. there an image there that you thought stood out when you were taking it? Um, it was difficult. I know the managers are going to be a big story, so yeah. it's been, it was difficult to get them both together because they were so far apart. Yeah. Um, but we've got, I've got some dejection of Kirby Shirley, not looking very happy. I've got some pictures of Pardew looking. Thumbs up, looking yeah. happy. So we've, we've got some good stuff. What's next for you now? I, I'm actually off to Cardiff. You've officially got the best job in the world, haven't you? <laughs> you and Adrian Charles have the best job in the world. You won't believe me if I say it's hard work. <laughs> the mates don't. <laughs>